entry ceremony, and that means one thing, of course. TNN's Mesquite Championship Rodeo is coming up straight ahead here. Hello, everyone. I'm Dan Miller, along with eight-time world champion bull rider Don Gay to take a look at this rodeo and give you some things to look for as well, starting off with the bull riding. And tonight, Coy Allen is here on King Kong. Well, now, Coy, he's riding real well. He's won here once this season. King Kong, big, strong bull. Great, but weighs over 2,000 pounds. It'd be a handful. Philip Fournier is here, and he has Rascal in the bull riding. Well, now, in the bull riding, this bull's a little bit new. He doesn't really, we don't know what he's going to do. We expect Philip to ride him. Now, Philip is also here in the bareback riding, really where he's making his mark this year. He has done gone. Well, you know, he's been to the national finals three times in the bull riding. Well, he's won here three or four times already this season, and, and he should win again in the bareback riding. Now, in the saddle bronc riding tonight, watch for Shane Wilson. He has rim rock done. Well, he's had this horse once time before. He's won here once. He can win the money on this horse. Good draw. Now, the steer wrestling is uh, coming up this evening. Three very good names to watch for. First of all, we have Randy Vaughn, Dan Cormier, and Todd Fox. Doesn't get a lot better. Now. It doesn't. You know, Todd Fox, runner-up to the championship of the world. It could be fast. Should be great. We're ready here in the arena. Now, back behind the chutes, here is Pam Minnick. Thanks, Dan. I've already had a chance to talk to some of our contestants, and I'll be here behind the chutes to visit with the event winners. And right now, in the chutes, the Bulls are awaiting their first victims. Mesquite Rodeo will begin in just a minute. And one of the best things about Mesquite, Texas, always two sections of bulls. That's how we start and end here in Mesquite. Good bulls up, Donnie. Absolutely. The lineup looks real good. And we are going to start with a load. Bull we call Cowabunga. Speaking of the devil right there. Yeah, check is. them clown stabbers. Hang in there, boys. This is a tough one. Sean Murphy, the man on his back from Fort Collins, Colorado. Came a long way. He's seen Cowabunga on TV. And he tuck that chin a little more, John. Whoa! Man. Oh, my goodness. Well, he about got it right in the chin, Donnie. Looked like he took the most of that right in the chest. Cowboy sitting there, all that atmosphere around here in Mesquite, you can't get any of it. That's a real crummy feeling. That's when you have to get up and say, Cowbunga, dude. Oh, boy. No score for Sean. Let's take another look at it, Donnie. I think, actually, he is pretty lucky the way he came out of that. Well, if he'd have looked up and seen those feet, he wouldn't be near as uh, faint feeding over at the bucket shoot. He'd be a lot more thankful. Watch this bull suck him down in there and splat. Knocks him down now. Coming right back. You know, wiped out his hat a little bit. He's up. Let's check his horns and we can see it here. Just missed him. Didn't, you yeah. know, looked like took it on the flat side of the neck. You know, on the bull's neck. And uh, he, he's real lucky. Very lucky. What a way to start out. The next man up, John Elders from Weatherford, Texas. He's drawn Captain Crunch. All right, this uh, new young bull. Pretty decent prospect. Good looking bull. See how he fares under the bright lights at Mesquite. Gonna go down the arena. You can see the cowboy just waving off the crowd. He said, hey, I tried this bull. No, uh-oh, he there made a little turn. John, you should never do that. If the stock contractor sees you do that, and then when you draw a bull like Cal Bunga and you're laying there under him, they say things real smart to you. But see that score? 60 points, Dan. 60-point ride. And he's lucky old Captain Crunch didn't decide to turn back about two seconds earlier. A little bit quicker, but, you know, they... You know, uh, every dog has his day is all I'm telling you. And, you know, while that may be fun, paybacks are always a little difficult. Yeah, just at the end there, Captain Crunch decided to look for a clown, and uh, we have a 60-point score as our score to beat. John gets up a little weary maybe from an earlier ride at a different rodeo. Talk about the judges tonight, Donnie. Ronnie Christian, former bareback rider. He's uh, one of the heads of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. While we look over at Ron Knatzer, Rodeo on is his life. You're looking right now at Scott Pickens from right here in Mesquite, Texas. Chili Willie, the bull. This is a nice little bull. He's been really bucking good. Should turn back to the right, but he can go both ways. So little Scotty just needs to think about staying in the middle. He's that good body position. That looks good. But yeah. Oh, look out. Whipped away from his hand. A little bit still. Chili Willie really cranking it back. Really is. Barry Hank and move in. A little bull by the horns action. No score for Scott Pickens. One of the great things about Mesquite living here, Donnie, you can come out and do this every weekend if you want. All right. You know, you saw Scott looking up against the replay monitor as we watched there. And Scott was just a little bit stiff. He made the turn, had good body position. Bull just got ahead of him and threw him down. Well, just a moment ago, we saw Sean Murphy really take a shot. Let's go right now to Pam and find out how he's doing. I checked on Sean Murphy. The first order of business is to get the bleeding stopped in his nose. Secondly, they're concerned about a possible concussion. Dan? 
What an yeah, me. <laughs> Bush and a look, DJ Vaughn, the next man up on El Paso. All right. El Paso, young bull, fighting to shoot in there a little bit. All right, DJ. DJ, look up at his head. 60 the score to beat. Here comes DJ Vaughn. All right, this bull headed down the arena. I've seen the bull turn back. Oh, here comes a little turn. DJ's in trouble, hanging off the side. He made the whistle get all oh. let go. Oh, Hello, DJ. See what I mean? <laughs> Folks right there in the front row. Hello, yeah, nice to have you here with us. Remember, he's trying to beat 60 points, and he does that barely. 61 for DJ Vaughn. 61 is CO. Oh, boy, it's cool here. He's, he's wanting to see something to run over. Well, I don't see anybody out here. Okay, let's turn around and take another look. Real dangerous. His rope has slipped over, and he really can't get his hand out of that bull rope, and he's just trying to let go. Be Terry Gillett. Barry Hank can move in and get that bull's attention. 61, the score to beat. Last man up here in the first section, D. Latham, and he's on La Rouge. This is a pretty good bull right here. He spins right in the gate to the left and be away from his hand. The bull quick, a little bit flat. Uh-oh, he's tall a little. Here comes that left turn. Oh. He's down. He better oh. get out. Come on, boys. Where you at, guys? Oh. Terry Gillard <laughs> takes a shot. The lights were on, but nobody was home in D. Latham's house. Crawling on instinct. Now. Well, it just it really was a reflection. Wow. He hadn't got it all back together, but he hit that ground, stunned him. Terry Gillett, move in. Check those little spindly knees, but it looks like everybody's up all right. No score for D, and talk about a time when you're glad the bull didn't have horns coming out the front. All right, free hand back behind him, classic buck off right on his shoulder. You see Terry oh. Gillett take that shot. Now D lays him, <laughs> Terry takes him another shot. Terry's going to get up D. Let's watch this. This is fun. They look like they're up and all right. He's looking at the ground anyway. Crashes on the back of his head, and that stunned him. Terry Gillis Whoa. gets whacked. The bull's got him, and he knows it. Terry hollers at him, turns off. Barry Hankins getting in there to close the gap. Looks like Terry may have hurt his knee a little bit. He just got hit from the side. Woo, it's wild, and that's just the first section of Bulls. DJ Vaughn with that 61, he'll be the man to beat as we have the second section of Bulls coming up later on. However, when we come back here in Mesquite, we'll do a little bit of bareback riding. A reminder from Walmart. Riding, it's a great event to watch on television, but even better when you're here in person, Donnie. Well, if you plan to be in our area, just call 1-800-833-9339 for information and reservations. Attend a live performance of Mesquite Championship Rodeo, and you'll have a great time. Much better than going to the movies. Bring the whole family out here to the rodeo. We guarantee you'll have a good time. Doesn't, doesn't cost much either. That's right. <laughs> Ready to start off with Mark Gomes, his name, Donnie, from Weatherford, Texas, on Empty Tank. All right, new horse. Canadian horse, let's see what he does under the lights here. All right, a little wild turn to the left. Come on, more. oh, spurt over his neck. He's in a little trouble, he's back away from the Ooh, hang on. I heard the whistle that time. Pick up men, move in. Come on, Mark. Oh, empty tank. He's saying, is, uh, come on, oh my. <laughs> he said, oh, I'm glad that's over with. 68 point score for Mark Gomes. Strange looking bucking on that horse, Donnie. He almost takes a leap sideways here. Well, he was going to buck real good and then uh, act like he's going to just take off. You know, and I, and I think it has to do with the spur. You see, Mark, he spurs over his neck and then he trips and, and falls. And, you know, just kind of a little out of kilter here, but uh, kind of like this get off. Let's watch <laughs> this and this will say it all. Let's the kid on the tricycle. Just a good spot to sit right there. Well, after a rough start, Jack Sims coming up next tonight before the rodeo, Pam had a chance to talk with you. Jack, you were the 1990 Bearback Riding Rookie of the Year, and last year finished 28th in the world standings. When can we see you at the NFR? Who? Um, it's not looking like it's going to be this year. I, I went back to school uh, trying to get an education, and I've been kind of just going to some rodeos, easing around college rodeos. Uh, hopefully next year, if I do good at the winter rodeos, it'll be enough to carry me through. I'll be there in 93, hopefully. Ready? Big problem with a lot of these young guys. They just kind of keep a hoping and a wishing and ease around. If you're going to make the NFR, go out there and make them. Come on, Jack. You got the ability. Hard, hard to ride. Jack just kind of hanging on here. All right, he's got two hands down waiting on the rescue team. John Patterson trying to 
Get in position. Jack's in a little Whoa. trouble. Oh, my. Oh, man. Oh, boy. He knocked him out. He is out. Well, I couldn't see what 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 hit. It looked I mean, like it he hit just, just right at his shoulder and neck, Donnie. He's hit and stuck. He is out. Justin Healers and the paramedics, the EMTs are here. We'll watch this back and see if we can tell what happened now. He's lucky, he, you know, he didn't spur that horse out. His left foot was sticking out, but I didn't see a, a flag thrown. Makes the ride. All right, now he's gonna get off on the pickup, man. I don't know if we're gonna, coming down the wall here now. We watch his head, see, misses. Oh, the horse stepped on him, and stepped on his foot. And, and it just slammed, slammed him down. Just slammed right. him. Watch from this side. You see, the horse stepped right on a, a shaft or, or a boot, and then just slammed his head against the turf. Gonna put a neck collar on him, take him out, have him checked. We'll get an update to you just as soon as we know anymore. Mm -hmm. Normally these things look worse than they actually are. The guys like to come back home, he'll be a little sore. Well, let's hope that's the case here tonight, Don. Right. They carry him out. We'll bring you an update as soon as we get that. They are going to give him a score. The judges are figuring things up. He's trying to beat a 68 here. Let's give the horse its new Miss Kitty was the name of the horse. And uh, we'll find out a score for you in just a second on that. Sean Wright is the man right now getting set to go. Sean Wright, and he's got a horse called Dry Goat. You know, and after you, you know, one of your buddies gets wrecked out there, makes your mouth a little dry, but, you know, you go ahead and cowboy up a little bit, Sean. All right, Drago doing his thing. Sean's in pretty good shape. Keep those feet up there. A couple of little minor miscues, but other than that, a pretty good ride. Dry Gulch gives him a good ride. Remember, trying to beat 68 points. Sean Wright from Weatherford, Oklahoma. Let's see the score for him. It's going to also be Donnie's 68 points. We've got a tie for first. Two guys in there at 68 points. Good spur out. Had a good picture of that. Spurs right up over the shoulders, pulling them around. Looking good. Body position's all right. Now, you see his leg come down right there? Yeah. That cost you a couple of points. You could have about, maybe had the lead by yourself, Sean. Got a run on Sean's right now. Sean Amstoy from Stephenville, Texas, getting set next. We talked with him a little earlier. Sean, why do you think rodeo is so popular with the fans? Well, I think uh, anything to do with the West, you know, cowboys and, and stuff like that's always been popular. It's part of the uh, American heritage. And I think it brings people closer to what this country was made from. Well said. We did get a score on Jack Sims. It was a 64, Donnie. Now Sean Amsoy is on lonesome knees. 68 the score to be. It's a good draw. He, oh, a little weak at the gate on the spur out. If the judges didn't, oh, my, look out, Sean. Wow. He just bucked off hard, just slammed. And the big problem there is because he didn't get that horse spurred out, did not have a hope with those spurs. No score. Watch when those feet get see, behind See, him. they're bouncing there. He's trying to grab it. He's taking all the power on the arm. Right. See that? And just, I mean, bang, bang, you know, get me out of here. Watch it again. You see his feet bouncing. They got him on the right side. He didn't have a hold on the right any better than he did left. Sean's just having a little trouble because he can ride. Yes, we've seen him ride well here several times. We saw Jack Sims in a rough wreck just a moment ago. Let's go to Pamper up there. I followed the medics as they loaded Jack Sims into the ambulance. He was conscious. He had feeling in his arms. Dan, he hit the ground hard, and we can only hope that his injury is not too serious. Okay, Pam, right, thank you very right. much. Our best wishes go out to him. We'll uh, let you know more when we find it out. Right now, Robbie Vaccaro is on Kickapoo. All right, this is a new horse now. Robbie, he knows these little horses can buck. He's been on some of them, trying to be real easy in the shoot. Body position. Got him spurred out. Oh, my. Whipped out there quick. Oh, Robbie got a blow out. Oh, Ow, wow. Robbie is moving slow, too. I, Donnie, you know, when that horse ducked to the left, his right shoulder then looked like it took a beating. Really pulled into it. He hit pretty hard right there. Yes. Oh, Robbie normally gets up. We know that he hit that ground mighty, mighty hard. Now he spurs his horse out, but he just blows left. Right there. Bounces him, takes a jerk. Now, hand comes out of the rigging right there. Oh, right on the elbow and shoulder. Let me tell you, that hurts. Take another look at riding Robbie Vaccaro. Blowout right there. Ooh. 
shoulder, head, elbow. They still everything. had the presence of mind to catch that hat and put it on. Sitting right My there. My man, Robbie. And he's up. He's up. Boy, I'll tell you, the bareback riding tonight, not for the faint of heart. Neil Gay riding beside him, big smile on his face. No score for Robbie. And we move on, Donnie. Philip Fournier from Bowie, Texas. He's on Dungon. All right. This guy can win the bareback riding here. Hang in there, Philip. National Finals Rodeo yep. Bull Rider. Good bareback rider, as you can see right here. Yeah. Hey, we're going to change the lead. That picture perfect. Very nice. Very nicely done. Philip Fournier, and he has done well here this year, Donnie, in Mesquite, riding these bareback horses. He needs to beat 68 points, should do that handily. The judges say for Philip a score of 73 points. I like the way Philip rides and he spurs his horse out. He keeps his feet close together. Now the right one's down a little right. bit low, but now right here he gets loosened up because he knows the art of finishing strong. See how he really goes to rocking those spurs back right when the judges are really getting their last impression. Philip came through and he's a pro. He won it with 73 points. A tie for second, Sean Wright and Mark Gomes, both with scores of 68. Well, it's been a rough night, but people did survive. Let's go to Pam Minnick. She's standing by with our win. Pam. Thanks, Dan. Once again, Philip Fournier wins the bareback riding on Dungon. What did you know about the horse, Philip? Well, Pam, I've been on the horse about six years ago, and uh, boy, she was really strong. Needless to say, I didn't make the they make the corn out of the shoot on her. Uh, seen her the last couple of weeks here. She's real strong, I know that. And uh, right out the box there, and tonight everything went good for me. I thought she gave me a real good shot, and I tried extra hard, and I think it's going to pay off. It certainly did tonight. Congratulations. Now get ready to ride a bull, Philip. We'll be back with more exciting rodeo action in just a minute. Along with Don Gay and Pam Minnick, and while the crowd's being entertained here, we have a fan that's come a long way to be here, and Pam is with her right now. Thanks, Dan. Barbara Blanton is visiting us from Cary, Florida. What brings you here to Mesquite, Texas? My children had just moved to Duncan, Oklahoma, and I came out to visit them, and they surprised me and brought me down here to the rodeo because I enjoy them so much. Do you watch us on TNN? I sure do. I record them all the time. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Barbara. Back to you, Dan. Thank you very much, Pam. We are big in Florida, Donnie. A lot of people down there watch us. We appreciate right. that. How about a highlight for us, Donnie? Well, we got a pretty good one. Two old timers. I got Monty Penny and Action Cat and a bull riding. All right, Monty coming around the corner to the left in pretty good shape now. Get his head up. He's in a little bit of trouble. Good ride. Come on, hang on. Hang on. You got it. Uh, good oh, flat. Ouch. Ah. Uh, Money. And he was all right after that. What a wreck. Well, if you like that kind of rodeo action, you'll really enjoy my 1991 Worst Wrecks at Mesquite Rodeo home video. I picked what I think are the toughest wrecks from all the events and assembled them on one exciting tape. And, of course, there is a Best Rides video as well. You can order Don Gay's 1991 Worst Wrecks or Best Rides at Mesquite Rodeo now. Each has almost one full hour of rodeo excitement. Send a check or money order for $29.95 plus $3 shipping and handling for each cassette to Mesquite Rodeo Tapes, 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas, 75149. That's $29.95 plus $3 shipping and handling for each cassette to Mesquite Rodeo Tapes, 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas, 75149. Or call 1-800-331-1000 for Visa or MasterCard orders. Please specify Worst Wrecks or Best Rides or both. Sorry, no CODs. Well, it's that time in the rodeo when the big men start to take over here. A good crowd on hand watching the action here with us this evening. They're about to watch steer wrestling here, Donnie. What a, what a pretty oh. young lady. Oh. What a lousy. All right, guys, get that thing out of my face. Little camera shy. Give her a few years. Robert Martin starting us off from Benton, Texas. He's been his second here once this season. Hard running steer. Makes a good catch. Uh-oh. Feet down a little bit. Just a lot of effort on this cowboy's part. Gets him down. Rolls him over. Let's see the time for Robert Martin. It's going to be 8.7 seconds for Robert Martin. A little bit off that barrier. Paint horse gets him on by that spotted steer. Now, puts it on him. He's a little out in front. You've got to get those steers positioned right. He has set the time to beat at 8 and 7, and there is a who's who of steer wrestlers here tonight. We'll see how that time fares here this evening. Randy Vaughn up next. National finalist two times, 1978 and 81. 
Works for one of our national sponsors in Pro Rodeo now, Randy Vaughn. Good catch. Bulldogs occasionally, a new daddy. Come on, get him down, Randy. Well, he needed to be eight and seven. The crowd shows their appreciation. He gets it done in eight and three. That is a big boy right there. He is a big boy. <laughs> he knows he could have been a little quicker. He's riding old Bailey, Byron Walker, the world champ, hazing for him. Pull him around. Yeah, he's down and he needs to get up and he put it on him right there and the steer spun out a little bit and hung up. He could have been under eight seconds. And he knows it. Eight and three looking now. Big Dan Cormier coming up from Oakwood, Texas. Okay, four-time NFR qualifier, 30s in the world, 91. He's won almost $250,000 doing this. Sliding by, hard running steer, pull him around. Yeah. Wow. The steer says, gracious me. <laughs> the crowd loves it. Look at this time, five and two. And it could have been quicker, Donnie. He was a little late coming out there on that steer. These steers just are really running hard here. See him hustling up, trying to get on by. Now, so you got the steer turn position where he gets a flat fall. It gets him to a real smooth run. The time five and two, and that is now the time to beat. We move to the next man, Mike Dickey. Bullshit, Texas Cowboy. Look at that horse, look at that gate. So let me have him. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to hurry. Oh! Oh! Safe. Mike Dickey rides a long way and misses and comes up with no time. He said, hmm. See if we can see how he misses that inside horn or if he just started down, started down a little bit late. Now, Hager let that steer get back right on him. That was, yeah. uh, there could be a discussion after the rodeo. Huh. Well, it takes two men to get a good time in steer wrestling. Big Todd Fox, the next man up here. Pam talked with Todd just a little bit earlier this evening. Todd, what's the most difficult part of steer wrestling? Well, I think that's the score. That's where you allow the steer the head start because that's that's really where all the nerves come into play. You've got to sit there and allow that steer just a perfect head start and go out there and catch him. I always say it's just like golf. You score for dough and you throw him for show. Turned into a poet here, hasn't he, Don? Six times to the national finals. Trying to go back and get that gold buckle. It's eluded him so far. Come on, Todd. Yeah. That's a big old steer. It is. It really is. Todd trying to beat five and two and doesn't do that. 5.4 seconds for Todd Fox. He's a real athlete. These guys see Byron Walker hazing for him. Keeping that steer running straight. Good catch. See how he keeps backing up with that steer? You know, a lot of guys don't do that. They wind up sitting down on their pants and uh, can't hardly throw them quick. Yeah. General Manager of Mesquite Arena, Jack Beckman there on your far left in the corner of the picture right there, talking to the Bulldog with Randy Bone, Todd Fox. There's a threesome one there. <laughs> Chuck Dankowski, the last man up here in the steer wrestling, trying to beat five and two. All right, now, he's finished second here once this season. This boy hadn't won a lot of money this year here, but he can Bulldog, and he's got a quick catch. He can do it tonight. Come on, Chuck. It's EC, let that steer get it pulled back away from him. If he'd have done the little backup move that yes. Todd Fox did, he'd have had it done. Six and nine ends up his time, and exactly, Donnie, what you just talked about with Todd Fox. Didn't happen that way for Chuck. Okay, now watch when he starts his head, steers head around, wanting to go to the nose. Now, if he backs up right here, see the steer back up, he didn't come with him. And he's having to use all of his strength to try to get this steer down, working against him. Almost got a foot in the face for all his trouble as well. Let's take a look at the final standings. Dan Cormier wins it five and two. Todd Fox comes in second. And Chuck Jankowski ends up in third in six and nine. Right now, as always, we're going to go to Pam Minnick. She is standing by with our win. Thanks, Dan. Everything worked well for Dan Cormier in the steer wrestling. Tell me about your run. Well, first of all, I had a steer to run pretty hard, so I knew I had to get a good start. And after I caught him about halfway, I just stood up and bulldog, and everything worked good from there. You said to me a little bit, a bit ago that you thought that the horse shorted out on you a little bit. Well, before I went to ride in the box, he uh, kind of balked on me. I don't know if it was something I did or something that the horse has picked up. I hope it's uh, something I did. I can correct that a whole lot easier than we can correct the horse. But it was a great run tonight. Congratulations, Dan. We'll be back with more exciting action from Mesquite right after this message. Riding, Donnie. All right, Dan, this is where it all began right here. Spur them bronc, turn them toes out. 
One of the nice things about rodeo, you have rematches. Cowboy against the horse he's ridden before. We're starting off with Steve Roberts. Pam, talk to him about that earlier. Steve, you've drawn a horse called Try Me, and the last time you had him on our TV show, he bucked you off. What can we look for this time? Well, I don't really know. Hopefully, I'll ride him this time, but uh, it's all right. I've had him uh, more than once, and I've rode him once and bucked off a few times. So hopefully, I can do something tonight. She's not going to tell us how many times he's tried Try Me. <laughs> she's the 1984 Bucking Horse of the Year. Steve Roberts knows every move she's going to make. Hang in there. The right turn over here at the wall is going to be the tough one. Oh, there it is. Oh, shoot, he says. No score for Steve Roberts. Dad, burn it. <laughs> you know, it's funny to watch Try Me. She's such a pro. It's all like she runs out the first couple of jumps. Here we go, boys. Okay, now, hold oh. on, she says. Okay, you're doing pretty good, kid. Don't spur me. Huh, I'll turn back and just fuck you off. How many times has she done that? Jimmy McCarley up next from Euless, Texas, toll free this horse. Call someone who cares, Jimmy. His best score has been 74 points. You can see Robbie McCarroll right there looking on. He must be feeling better. Let's see how Jimmy does. All right, Jimmy, leaning away from that rain a little bit, stood in that right stirrup, had a little trouble getting started. Gonna make the ride. He hollered something as he rode by the buck and shoots. <laughs> I couldn't make out what it was. Horse is just going to be real tough to get to. Jim Gay, John Patterson. Jim rides in, makes a rescue. Judges figure it up, Donnie. They're giving him 65 points for this ride. Just a little late getting started. And, you know, and a horse come around in a circle like you like, but she was going a little bit fast. Jimmy's feet, you see where they're at? They're back there in the back. Kind of holding on now. They're not getting over the point of the yeah. shoulder. Still in the back back there. You know, she's making that turn. Made the whistle and got a score. And it is the score to beat. At 65, you're looking at Shane Gobranson. Also from Euless, Texas. He's on Big Valley. Formerly of Australia, Gobranson. Starting to win a little bit. All right. Little black horse takes a quick rare out. Shane really out of time yeah. with the horse down the arena. Gonna get a score, but not a very big one. She came out of there so quick and headed down the arena, Donnie. Hard for him to get his feet moving as quickly as they needed to be going. And let's see the score. He's got 61-point ride for Shane Gobranson. Well, you can see he's a real tall cowboy. And, and when you've got a horse that's, that's real snappy, that's real fast, it's just hard for them from the knee down to really get it working. It's a long learning process. And Shane, he's coming along pretty good. He's going to be in the winter circle for long. If you're making vacation plans, keep Mesquite in mind. Well, anyone going to be in our area, come out and join us in person for a Mesquite Rodeo performance. Just call 1-800-833-9339 for information and tickets. It's a great way to spend a night. All around cowboy Doug Dugan getting set to ride Lady Hawk. This horse can be pretty good. Doogie baby, we call him. Steer wrestler, saddle bronc rider. All around good guy. Don't get tipped forward, Doogie. Circling around there. Going good with the right foot, left foot a little bit late. Depends on how much of that the judges saw. I like the ride. Had some action to it. Remember, he's trying to beat 65 points. Let's see what the judges think about it, Donnie. Dead For Doug Dugan, 67-point ride. Doogie, you're starting to fill out that shirt. He's really good. He, uh, <laughs> Steer wrestling may wind up being his number one event if he gets any bigger. All right, there's the spur out. Coming around. He tip forward. He needs to get those spurs up, get a hold. He knows that. He's just hustling around trying to save par here. All the guys are starting to learn how to play golf. Big smile on his face. He has a score to beat. We have Jim Proctor coming up next. The horse is called Lonesome, and Pam got together with him a little earlier to talk about his draw this evening. Jim, you've come a long way from Colorado to get on Lonesome. She's taken a lot of Cowboys to the pay window. Any predictions on the outcome tonight? Oh, not really. They tell me he's a pretty good horse, so I guess we'll just see when the gate cracks. There's a long way to come, Donnie, to get on the horse. Well, you know you're going to win if you ride her like you're supposed to. See Neil Gates, my daddy standing down there giving some last minute instructions to Lonesome. Like she needs them. Watch this. Jump and kick. All right, Cowboy, you're getting behind a little John Patterson. Oh, blow the stroke. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. Oh, don't do that. You have no idea how lucky Whoa. you are. 
on. No score for Jim Proctor, but I hope he watches this replay. It about scared me to death. Yeah. Not too bad. Going right along. Let's see his right stirrup pop on. Right there. Bang, boom, zap, foul. Oh. Don't look up. It gets worse from there. It'll be up. a long drive back to Colorado. But now this is getting real close to your work. Very close. 67, still the score to beat. You're looking at Shane Wilson, and he is on Rimrock. Getting a little help from Joe Wimberly standing there behind the shoot, the Weather for Texas Cowboy. He's won here once this year, and he can do it again on old Rimrock. Horse will take a little rain, puts his head way down. Come on, Shane, hustle. That a boy. Looking good. Keep spurring. Go quick now. Really charge here. Look good. Yeah. Lead change, Dan. He's trying to beat 67. Rimrock, a big horse. Shane really working there. Let's see the score for him. Judges say 71-point ride for Shane Wilson, enough to put him into first place right now, Donnie. That looks good. Step in behind one of our cameramen. A little quick on that spur out. You better be careful of that. Now, just kind of held a jump. The horse bucked good. Strong kick. Gave him a good chance to finish strong. Shane Wilson. Starting to win here. Well, I said to put him into first place. It was the right time. Shane, the last man. He wins with a 71. Doug Dugan comes in second with a 67. And Jimmy McCarley comes in third place here this evening. Now let's go to Pam standing by with our winner. Dan, Shane Wilson wins the saddle bronc riding on rim rock. Shane, what did you know about the horse before your ride? I've seen him a couple times, and I knew he's a good, honest horse. And he did just like they told me he was going to do. Uh, I was a little bit late on him, but I still got him rode all right. And the judges liked it. The crowd liked it, too. Congratulations on a good ride. We'll be back with more great rides at the Mesquite in just a moment. This is light. Straight on light. Ready for section two of the bull riding. After the first section, it was a rough one. D.J. Vaughn, the man to beat with 61 points. And in case you missed out on how to order Don Gay's worst wrecks or best rides in Mesquite Rodeo 1991 versions, just call 1-800-331-1000 or write Mesquite Rodeo Tapes, 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas, 75149. Well, Legs Stevenson's going to start us off here this evening. We caught up with Legs just a little earlier. Legs, you've drawn a bull called Exorcist, and we haven't seen him ridden on our TV show. What'll be your strategy? Well, I really don't know the bull. I'm kind of asking around right now. But uh, he bucks, and I ride good. It ought to work. Donnie, you can tell him about this bull. You like this bull. Yeah, I really do. He turns back to the left, away from legs in. But now he rides bulls to the left, away from his hand, actually better than he does into it, in my opinion. The guy's got a lot of style to be way over that six-foot mark. Good cowboy. Good bull. This should be good. Lex says, let's go. I jump out of there, tipped into his hand, blown out early. Bull kind of rode that gate out, spinning right over there, chasing Terry Gillard. I like that bull. No score for Legs, and Donnie, that time we kind of saw how Legs' height played against him. He got into that hand and couldn't get back. Just whipped him up, freehand his rock back, and that bull has got a lot of action. Watch the bull's front end here. See how he moves that? I mean, I'm talking about this bull is quick. He's a load. Remember, 61 still the score to beat. Coy Allen coming up next. He's from Clarksville, Texas, and he's also drawn a good bull here tonight, Donnie. It's called King Kong. Right there, Coy working on his hands. Big bull, seen Philip Fournier win money on this bull. Coy Allen, he's won here once this year. An 81 score he can ride. He can ride this bull. Big and strong, but he's slow. Oh. Come on, Coy, stay in there. You got him. Up, oh, up, oh, he almost stopped. Oh, you better watch out now. He'll poke you with them clown stabbers. Watch out. We Barry Hankins, Terry Gillett move in. Coy rides him, subpar day for King Kong. See that mouthpiece in his mouth, so many of the cowboys using right now. Dummy's so scared he the, fell over. The dummy fainted. <laughs> Which one you say, Terry or Barry? 67 to the score for Coy Allen. New leader. He wished that King Kong had kept firing right there. 
Coy stays in the center. Coming around. Oh, you don't want to let that foot bounce out of there. And that, you don't ever want to get off a bull standing still. You see Terry Gillett trying to get that bull moving because if you jump off one standing still, they'll wheel around and really hurt you. You're looking at Jeopardy and Michael Gaddy, the man on his back. Getting set to go, 67 the score. Oh, right Oklahoma like Cowboy. Right. Michael Gaddy working a little hard with that free hand. He's in trouble. Oh. Jeopardy after Terry Gillett. That's a pretty boy. No score for Michael. I'm not sure he didn't touch him with that free hand trying to crawl back in there. Go. Oh. This is okay, Mr. Hankins. I'll just dig you a grave. Now, they don't print enough money. I want you to look this. Now, there's no fence. Terry Gillett looks like he's after Miss Kitty Litter. Okay, watch out, Barry. They're gonna let Jeopardy go on the outside. Michael Gaddy, there is no score on the board. He's not happy about that. Quick jump out of the chute. Now, whipped away from his hand. I believe that he touched him, but his rope had slipped and he wasn't gonna be able to make the ride. It's good he just went ahead and took the fall. Barry Hankins right there, working hard for these guys. Other one of the tandem, Terry Gillett. Who really got tagged in the first section. You bet, and there's, there's the overseer, Frank McElvain Sr. And there's the boss. There's the real overseer. There's the boss. <laughs> Neil Gay rides in, overseeing the action of Philip Fournier. He is on Rascal. That's probably be one of Philip's kids in a year or two. Got two or three of them. They'd be as rowdy as Philip and his brother David. Boudreaux, formerly a Louisiana. Whoa, Whoa, what a hard man. start. Whipped away, and he's back on the end of his arm. He's having trouble. I think he's got him a seat back now, but for a bull going straight down the arena, Ooh. he made a veteran strain a little bit. Oh, look out, look out. See if you don't move, they're yeah. going to hit you. Who's got that much nerve? Just like a Doberman, they say. Yeah, 66 the score for Philip Fournier. Really not a lot of points for a lot of strain on him, Doug. Well, you see Philip laughing, going, man, I hate those days. That bull slipped. Philip really having trouble. He's been riding barebacks well, but you see how stiff and back he is? Philip has really had problems with his bull riding. He's been to the national finals a number of times, but he won't go back until he corrects that. You're looking at Chris Parker from Justin, Texas. The bull is called Hercules. All right, that's a new bull. I haven't seen him very much. Don't really know what to expect. Chris getting up on that rope. Got a good body position right there. Good looking bull. Oh, me, a lot of Whoa, action. This yeah. bull wants to buck. I like bulls like this. Their first time. They can go straight down the arena to check it all out. Tight wound, mate, boy. Cowboy makes a nice ride. Tips his hat to the crowd, trying to beat 67. The judges say no on that. They're going to give him a score, Donnie, I believe, of 66 points for Chris Parker. All right, 66 up on the screen. Chris Parker going to get his bull rope. Watch about the second jump here. Bull kind of, oh, he slipped down. He's just trying to buck too hard. Might have scared that bull out of that corner a little bit, and he'll just go on down the pin. Good prospect right there. Chris Parker down. NFR Cowboy coming up. Randy Queen, haven't seen him for a while, Donnie, from Oklahoma City. He's on the shredder. They like that black straw hat, man. That's uh, kind of a new deal. Look how big this bull is. He likes sitting on the dinner table. The shredder, and he'll get you. Randy Queen whipped into his hand, bucked down. Watch out, Terry Gillett. Randy, get up. Look out. That could have been you, Gillett. Oh, my. Dun, dun. Well, so much for the That's old standing still theory. Huh? Frank McElvain, there's somebody knocking, but don't let him in. He's in there singing that, I'm falling and I can't get up. <laughs> we'll turn that barrel into a porta potty if he's not careful. Watch out, Terry Gillett. Little bull fighting for you. That is a big, dangerous bull right there, the shredder. Frank, yeah. no, you don't want to fight with him. You don't want to fight with him. He's bigger than you are. No score for Randy Queen. Okay, he's in free hand coming back behind him. Rocked him over into his hand. Looking the bull right in the eye. Now watch this. Mm. 
See how quick that bull is? It's amazing. He's scary, scary bull. Well, the man that rides this bull, Dakota, is going to buy us all dinner. Toby Floyd has his shot at him right now. What's the bounty up to, Donnie? I think it's about $9,500. Toby Floyd, he's placed here a couple of times. And this bull, he's smart. Turns back to the left. He'll jump out of it and won't stay smooth. That's in addition to what you can win. Hang on, Toby. Got the face mask. Yeah. It's quick. It usually happens just about that quickly. Toby Floyd down, and he's not the first one. The okay, bounty goes up now, $500, Donnie. His game plan, it'll go to 10,000, no score on the board. Now, I want you to watch his outside foot. He's gonna come with it. Just gonna open up, but he came too soon and let him slip back off his rope. I mean, he helped the bull in that particular, not a bad idea, but his game plan didn't work. Well, Frank uh, rolls home his house here, and it's uh, none the worse for wear. Took quite a few shots from the shredder. Let's take a look at our final standings here. Coy Allen wins it in a rough section of Bulls, 67 points, the winning score, a tie for second. Philip Fournier and Chris Parker both with those scores of 66. Let's go now to Pam Minnick. She is standing by with the man who's taking home the money. Pam? Coy Allen wins the bull riding on King Kong. The bull seemed to be real slow moving tonight. Did that make your ride more difficult? Yeah, he kind of kept running me back. He was just rearing and, and not really kicking all that much. He just kept running around real slow. I like to fall off of him a couple of times. I'd rather him kick and have a little more action to him than be slow. They get you sitting on your butt and not riding real aggressive. But you stayed on. You made a good ride and win the event. Congratulations. Don't go away. Donnie and Dan will be back with a final look at tonight's action right after this. Hello, I'm Ralph. My time to recap this rodeo, talk about the money winners in the bareback riding. Philip Fournier, he met her chain in that uh, bull rope, Donnie. He wins it. Well, you know, he keeps winning that bareback riding, paying his entry fees in the bull riding. Sean Wright won second. Well, he was tied for second was with Mark Gomes. Of course, now we saw Jack Sims in a rough ride on Miss Kitty. We're going to go to Pam Minnick for an update on that situation. Pam? Dan, I just got a report on Jack Sims from the hospital. He remembers what happened. He knows where he was. We are happy to report that. It looks like he's going to be okay. Okay, Pam, thank you very much. We'll continue now with the steer wrestling. Dan Cormier, the guy is just consistent, Donnie. He wins. Well, he won first. He made a great run, you know, consistent. We're going to the national final. We talked about he and Todd Fox, who went second place, followed in third by Chuck Jankowski. Now in the saddle bronc riding, Shane Wilson comes through, wins it with a 71-point ride. Made a real nice ride. Rimrock just took him to the pay window like we thought he would. Doug Dugan won second, followed by Jimmy McCarver. And in the bull riding tonight before the rodeo, we talked about Coy Allen, maybe somebody to watch for on King Kong. Made this look good, didn't he? Well, he was a big, strong bull. You know, he was a little bit slow, but he wins first. Philip Fournier and Chris Parker, they tied for second. All right, that'll do it for us. For Pam, Donnie, and myself, see you next week.